Okay, on your oven, let's light up the pilot lights. We open this up. We've got two pilot lights up on top here. Okay. Um, now, one thing that I'd recommend on your stove, before you start cooking, at the beginning of the week, take off your take off your top grates, cover the top with tin foil. Okay. And then at the end of the week, you can rip that tin foil off, and it saves you half an hour, 45 minutes of cleaning the stove. Now, you've also got a pilot light in the oven. You want to make sure that you light all of your pilot lights, um, basically because they're, rumping, they're dumping raw propane in. So, to get at the oven pilot light, you basically open up this area of the stove, okay? And then you're going to reach your arm right back into the back of the oven and light that pilot light. And I'm going to show you in just a, just a minute where that pilot light's at. Okay, so right in the back of the stove, you can see the pilot light right now. Now, when you turn on the oven, uh, basically it's going to heat up a little bit. It's heating up a thermocouple. Now this could take anywhere up to two minutes to have this fully kick on. So just expect to wait, you know, a little bit of time when you turn your oven on before the whole oven kicks on. That's completely normal. You want to shut the oven off and then it's just back to the pilot light. And like I said, you want to make sure that all of your pilot lights are lit. And for the one in the oven, it's right in the back of the oven. You reach your arm back there and you light it up. Okay, on the hot water heaters, they're all pretty well the same. They get filled up by the generators. Uh, and like I said before, you don't need the generator running to have water pressure. You've got about 50 gallons in your hot water tank. You've got 50 gallons in your cold water tank of pressurized water. Uh, if you're having a couple guys take showers back after back, uh, turn your generator on, and then it'll automatically keep filling up this hot water heater. Now, on this hot water heater, your button on top is how you're going to light it up. And basically, if uh, you need to light your hot water heater, you turn it to pilot light, you push this button down right on this little arrow here, okay? You open up this little uh, latch right here, just like so, and then you've got a metal piece right here you're going to open up as well. And you reach into here and you light it up, and then once that's lit up, you're basically going to turn it to on. Now this dial right here, in the front of this guy, is your dial that controls your temperature on your hot water heater. Usually they sit right in between warm and hot, and if you find that your water is too hot or not hot enough, you can adjust it right here. And now on your hot water heater, this is one of those tools in the camp that you really shouldn't need to play with uh, for the duration of the trip, unless for whatever reason the, uh, the pilot light goes out, which is most likely going to be because uh, your propane tank goes dry. And most of these camps are rigged up so that your stove and your lights and your hot water heater are on one propane tank, your fridge is on a separate line. And I'll show you where to light this in just a minute. Okay, so we took the bottom piece off. You get down into here, and as you can see, that's where you're going to light up your hot water heater. And when it gets too cool in there, this is just a demonstration, it'll basically automatically fire on. And then when the water in there reaches the correct temperature, it'll automatically go back to just the pilot light. But you want to make sure that your pilot light is lit, and so you open up this front piece right here, there's a metal there's a metal piece right here that slides open and shut. Like I said, this metal piece slides open and shut. And then there's also a cover that sits right on the front of this. Okay? Okay, on your fridges, you've got three buttons. Okay? The one on the far right is your primer button. You want to make sure that that button's always pushed in and it remains vertical. If you shut it, if you put the button on the far right to the right side, it'll basically shut the propane off to the fridge. Now the middle dial is your climate control. Clockwise is cold, all the way clockwise is all the way cold. If you go all the way counterclockwise, right to the top it goes to defrost mode. Um, your button on the far left is your sparker button. So basically to light these fridges, you hold in your primer button, which is on the far right, uh, and the dial is supposed to remain vertical. Now it could take up to two minutes for the propane to go through the line. You hold in your primer button, and then you hit your sparker button. Now, occasionally, just like a barbecue, your sparker doesn't work, and so you need to know where to light it by hand, just in case, um, which is basically right in the back of the fridge. Now, there's a couple ways that you can figure out whether or not your fridge is lit. You can actually physically check in the back and uh, look at the flame and make sure that it's lit, or you can put your hand right up on the top of these fridges. Uh, right up here is a heat vent for this fridge, okay? So, you want to make sure that because there's a heat vent there, that you're not putting anything up on top of this fridge, which could hypothetically catch on fire. 
Uh, so you don't want any plastic, you don't want any paper. Just as a general rule, keep everything off at the top of the fridge uh, and that will ensure that you're having a nice safe trip. And I'll show you where the flame is in the back of the fridge in case you need to light it by hand. Okay, so like I said before, these are your dials in the front. This is your primer, this is your climate control, sparker. On this one here, make sure that it remains vertical. This one here, clockwise is cold, it's all the way clockwise. This is your sparker. If you need to relight, relight by hand, you go back to the back of the fridge, and your flame is right there. You see that blue flame? That's your flame kicking right there, and that's how you relight it. So one other tidbit of information on the outhouse, uh, you may find that it smells like crap. Now one good way to get rid of that smell is to pour a bunch of ashes from the fireplace down into the outhouse. It basically acts like natural uh, lye and it takes away all the scent. Propane systems. Now in most of the cabins they've got two lines going into the cabin. One's for your basically stove lights, hot water heater, the other's going to be for your fridge. Now in some cabins like North Point, in a, for example, you've got a double system back in the back. So you've actually got two tanks set up going into one regulator. Now on this cabin both of these lines are running into your stove and lights again. But you've got one tank feeding into it. Now you can see on the top there's an arrow okay and the arrow determines which tank has to be on. So right now the arrow is going this way so this tank here is the one that's going to be on. Now if you needed to change the tanks for whatever reason basically right here you put your pipe wrench and just remember for propane everything's left hand threading so it's going to be a reverse of what you're thinking is normal to get this off okay so instead of righty tighty lefty loosey it's going to be reverse of that so again to get these tanks off basically the first thing you're going to do is you're going to shut shut the valve up top and then you're going to take your pipe wrench right here on this nut okay and you're going to take this guy right off okay on your propane lights uh, a couple functions they've got this right here controls the brightness of the light by controlling the mixture of propane and air. And you can see the little hole there. Basically that allows air into the mixture. Okay, Right about there is usually where they should stay. Okay, um, Basically to get this thing lit up, you're going to open the gas up right here. And you're going to light it up. You want to make sure that you don't touch the mantle.